Hello everybody, it's been a while since my last couple of bunny videos and for some reason I can't find one of the pieces that go to my lapel mic, which would have made the audio more clear in my opinion, but there we go. The bunnies are not bonded yet. Not because of methods, but because of variables that nobody really could foresee. In a nutshell, this is how it went down. In February, I began my first attempt at bonding with all of the resources and information necessary that I had collected. And that was about the time I made my first video about the neutral spaces and the UK versus US methods and all that, all of that. What happened was about day six, we reached a plateau where my Piper and my Alvin were simply not making any progress. All relationships otherwise were fine. Max was fine with Alvin and Dory. Dory was fine with Max and Piper. Alvin was great with Max, but for whatever reason, Piper and Alvin were just not getting on. And I asked some advice on what to do, why this might be the case, because by day six, it should have not been so stagnant. There was a little bit of, you know, mutual grooming and some cuddling here and there, but it would always revert right back to Piper biting him mercilessly and him running away and becoming pretty much terrified to the point where he would start running circles and then getting the other bunnies all wigged out and then it would kind of start a tornado out of everyone being scared. So that's when I started getting the conflicting advice as to what I should do and possible causes what might be going on. One advice was they might be getting cabin fever because they had not yet expanded. Why don't you go ahead and expand anyway, even though, you know, it's not supposed to happen until two days of neg no negative behavior. I took that advice. A couple people had suggested it to me. Now, this was a combination of their advice plus me expanding by far too much space, even though I knew better because I was tired of seeing them in the cooped up space. That kind of just screwed everything up that first time. I tried to revert and make the space smaller again to no avail. Then Max started fighting with Alvin and it just kind of unraveled. And I had to stop because I was losing sleep. I was getting stressed out to the point where they would feed off of my negative energy. And that's not a good recipe. So I stopped, I separated the original pairs into their enclosures and I did the three week reset again. Same thing happened. The reset worked like a charm back to square one, literally, but then the exact same things were happening with the fighting between Piper and Alvin in particular. Again, I was advised, hey, day six, I think it was actually day seven, where no progress was being made again, and nobody really understood why. I was advised, expand by six inches and no more. Last time I did like two feet, which I knew was wrong, but anyway, that was me being impatient. So don't do that. So I expanded by six inches. Everything was still the same. So no additional bad behavior, but nothing was any better. So I waited for about two days, nothing changed. I expanded on recommendation by another six inches. Everything was the same. They were still on the same biting, lunging thing between the two bunnies. I wanna say it got me to a two by four space. And because of the particular configuration I had, that was a very easy expansion to make. After that, I'd have to do a lot of zip ties and kind of weird stuff. So I said, all right, I'll, I'll just plateau with this and see what's what. That was like, I want to say like, it was a little over two weeks again and nothing was changing. And now at this point, we started to have some animosity between Alvin and Max. And I was like, please, no, not again. So what am I gonna do? Well, I made it a little smaller, again, be immediately, because th that's what you do. Things were still pretty tentative and, and rocky. So I asked again, what's like, I can't get past these guys, what is going on? Should I have kept them in that two by two foot enclosure until, you know, like four weeks, five weeks out until they stop fighting, or is that just cruel at that point? And the consensus from UK was like, well, I don't think that that would have been a good idea, but we're a little stumped ourselves. So then I had a recommendation where they were, cause I, cause I said that it was mostly bad at night through the night, which of course is their most active time. And so somebody said, why don't you switch to daytime bonding for these particular guys? 
because they have a lot of pent up energy and perhaps 24 seven is not going to work for them. Okay. So I separated them for that first night after receiving the recommendation that killed everything. After that, I tried every conventional and non-conventional method to try to get back to square one. I sat in there with them because somebody said, why don't you go in there to calm them? And then somebody else was like, no, that's not right because they'll start claiming you as territory, which I'm more inclined to believe anyway. But I was like, I have nothing to lose at this point because I just screwed everything up. Somebody said, well, why don't you put a litter box in there so that they have something to chew on because I have a wooden litter box and they won't have so much pent up energy because they can take it out on their toys. They started doing that. And then somebody's like, no, of course, that's a, you know, they're not ready for that. And just all over the map because nobody knew what was wrong with my two rabbits that were being the problem. So once again, I separated them up. And then there was someone in my U US group who was saying, who in the world advised you to go to daytime bonding? And I was like, uh, X, Y, and Z. And she's like, that is not good for especially four rabbits. Maybe two rabbits you can get away with some stuff. But four rabbits, you've got a lot of different personalities that you're trying to mesh and a lot of different hormonal dynamics. You can't be switching up methods. Either start with daytime bonding and stick with it or start with 24 seven, which I was doing and stick with it because they are creatures of habit, which I know, and they're going to get completely confused if you start switching between methods because that's what they are. So I was like, oh my word. And I, I tend to think that that's very reasonable. Now, the variable that was not in all of that is my own personal constitution. And you have to take that into consideration. I have depression. And so it's a toll on my psyche as well. And so me not seeing any progress and on the contrary, seeing things decline, you know, I, I may not be of a constitution that could handle what this bonding would entail. Now, another thing is that it's spring and somewhere in the corridors of all that advice, I heard that spring may be a very bad time to bond because they still have residual hormones, even though they are fixed because instincts and time of year rolls around. It's interesting to me if that is true because they don't go into heat at different times of year. They're always ready. So it's kind of interesting if that is true that spring would do anything because I mean they can breathe the same summer, fall, winter, whatever. But okay, I am going to try again in September. If it doesn't work, I would look into a long-term solution to keep them separate. Two upstairs, two downstairs, which something with Alvin and Piper not taking to him is a dynamic that I may or may not be able to overcome because it may be that particular thing where the rabbits are simply not compatible or at least not able to become compatible in the time frame that I can personally devote. I do believe that all rabbits can be bonded, including these guys, but it's going to come down to what can I handle? I took a lot of video, a lot of pictures, uh, documenting what I was seeing between everybody, but because the situation did not work, I'm not going to bore you with all those details. Once it works, if it works, that's when I'm going to go ahead and show you the day ones, day twos, days threes of what I was seeing and how things were unfolding so that you can know what to see that is working if you were to do it. Because obviously what I was seeing, it's very, very confusing and obviously confusing for the experts as well because... I was getting conflicting advice. I'll be back with my September attempt and my goal is to get it done before Thanksgiving. So that's where I'm at now.